Hello, my name is Omar Rampasad. It's Saturday, March 2nd, 2019, 10, 18 a.m. in Toronto. So today's sample of being tagged. The alarm is not being triggered on this one, but it is on this one. So low power, but still tagged. So because it is low power, my pressure should be in the normal range. So I'm going to take my pressure with this. So I'm getting these very um, short, sharp pulses of pain as I walk. My legs, that's my thighs. That's my obliques, my chest. That's around my heart. the back. Now I have no magnets on me. And uh, here is the pressure. 142 over 93. And my heart rate is 100. 100. So um, I tweeted a bunch of tweets this morning. And um, the building superintendent was outside the window. I woke up at around eight o'clock, a little bit before eight. And uh, with him talking outside my window um, about, um, about uh, breaking arms, getting a woman raped. I had her raped this morning, quote unquote. And, uh, and uh, some other remarks that he was making to a contractor who just came in because I could hear the contractor saying good morning and this is how he started talking to the contractor. He started with the topic about, um, uh, I, got, I got her raped this morning and he, he, he kept on talking about um, this community targeting program that's going on and uh, uh, the attempts to have me mentally committed. So uh, there is uh, tickets and writs and warrants um, that's on file about me and uh, I'll be picked up and it will be served. All these things are talked about every single time this man steps out of the loading dock. There is no other topic of conversation. Uh, he would pretend that he's talking about something else, but he will slip a, a sentence that makes no sense in the middle of a conversation uh, like she's a fucking, excuse my language, she's an effing whore and uh, lots of men already gerbled it. Um, she, she effs herself and he inserts these sentences in his conversation because he's pretending to talk about something else. This is the way he covers the harassment. But this morning there was no covering. He was just talking about what was done this morning. So let me talk about what happened this morning. At around uh, 5 30, 6 o'clock, um, I was, uh, you know, uh, um, not wide awake, but uh, getting there. And um, uh, I felt uh, this, uh, this uh, intense um, heat 
this wave of heat coming through my body and it was originating between my legs. Now, a microwave alarm was not set off, so it was not microwaves. So when I go to the doctor and do get an ultrasound done, there is a slight sensation of heat because the, the sound waves create heat. Now, this is, ex this is a similar um, sensation I felt this morning. And uh, then I, I felt this pulsing um, in, uh, in my genitals, this in and out motion, um, that, uh, this penetrating motion that simulates the, acts of, the act of sex, the sex act. And uh, as uh, the deeper I felt it right up into my womb, into my belly, my lower belly, um, the more heat was generated. So I started shielding, because I shield with um, metal um, steel. Steel. Uh, um, I bought some baking sheets, some heavy baking sheets, some big ones, and I shield with this. It didn't help. So it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't micro microwaves. It was sound technology, which, which uh, is very hard to shield from because the sound waves will come, uh, um, you know, underneath the um, the shielding. So um, I'm suspecting that this technology is underneath the unit, and sometimes it comes from directly from above as well. So uh, this is what I felt this morning. So this morning, um, when the contractor came. And I heard the comment, I got her raped this morning. This is exactly what he means. These signals that I'm demonstrating here, that I'm showing here, uh, demonstrating the way I'm being um, scanned, tracked, and tortured, um, when, they <coughs> when, excuse me, when they're aimed between the legs is rape. And I'm suspecting that this man is doing it. He's one of the persons the main person in the building who's doing it. He and his family who takes turns during the night. The neighbors, I suspect, also does it. So, uh, and this man, I believe, is the gatekeeper. He's the main person and has been for a while. Another building superintendent named Gord, I suspect, is also involved in this because he is the one I suspect is, has flagged me and, uh, and is contracting out the surveillance. People are taking contracts from him to surveil me. And I'm on record uh, telling the cops about my being, my being mobbed as a result of this. When a perp called the cops and said I was stalking him, when really he was stalking me. And all three times I had interactions with the cops, this was the cause of those interactions. I was framed and set up every single time. And this man is uh, a key player in this, this constant setting up and frames. Now, obviously not all the police uh, uh, people are taking part in this, but there are certain people who, uh, certain cops who are and uh, and uh, uh, and they they are they are, a, uh, you know, a, a very important part of this this process, setting me up and framing me. Now, um, as I said before in my other videos, uh, I suspect this was done with Rohini Bessasa. She claimed that she was being experimented on, and she was hearing voices. There is such a thing as microwave hearing. And I've demonstrated that I am being tracked with microwaves. And I'm, I have also demonstrated that it's around the air as well. The air is tagged all the time. So uh, um, I do get uh, high tones, high pitched noises uh, in my ear, uh, which I've gone to the doctor for. Um, so this happens when my ear is tagged, when uh, when I place the detector in my ear and it goes off, I get these high tones. Now, in much the same way as I could hear the tones generated by microwaves, uh, voices can be also generated as well. Every person is, is experimented on differently. I don't hear voices. 
Uh, but that doesn't mean to say that Rohini Bessasa was not, and she was not experimented with. Did something or someone drive her to do what she, she did? Committed the horrific act of putting a knife into somebody? Well, maybe uh, I'm suspecting that that is exactly what happened because that's exactly what she said. So um, since uh, the, the, that scenario is not gonna be playing out in my case, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm talking about it openly. I cannot be framed and I cannot be set up because I know exactly what is happening in the building and I'm talking about it, I'm exposing it. I'm also exposing the cops who are going along with this because this is a targeting program. This is a, a constant entrapment program to finally get you disposed of, to cover up the fact that this whole thing is a cover for trafficking, remote trafficking, remote rape. So um, that's why my blood pressure is high and my heartbeat is 100. Because I got up this morning and I was completely triggered and I could feel myself getting stressed out. Now venting is one way to deal with that, which I use. Um, so uh, there's going to be no physical violence. Um, but uh, I mean, somebody, you wake up to somebody talking about raping someone this morning is very, very, very upsetting. It's extremely upsetting, especially since I have this man in court for harassment. And he's still doing it. He's still doing it. He seems to be completely undeterred. Seems obsessed with these topics. Nothing seems to stop him. He, he's completely obsessed with this, this, this topic of sex, rape, breaking arms, killing, murder, constantly talking about it with everybody he meets. In my opinion, I think he's mentally ill. I think he is a, a sexual addict, and I think he's obsessed with rape. He's obsessed with pimping women. I think he's pimping women, including myself, remotely. And if he's pimping me, then most likely he's pimping other people in the building. This is why I'm calling his name and I'm saying I'm scared of this man. I'm completely and utterly scared of this man. I will not be incited to violence. I absolutely refuse to. I will, however, expose the perpetrators who are driving me or trying to drive me to get so angry that, you know, another Rahini Bessasa scenario plays out, which is absolutely not going to happen. Because instead of doing that, I'm doing this. Talk to you another time.